you want to know the real difference between TMS and ketamine and which treatment might be the best for you or your loved one dealing with depression? If yes, then you're in the right place. Both treatments offer hope to those for whom traditional antidepressants haven't worked, but they work in different ways, have other side effects, and offer varying results. In today's video, we'll help you understand which treatment could be more beneficial for you, TMS or ketamine. Are you ready to discover the right solution that could change your life? Then stay with us until the end of this video, because the information we're going to share today might make your decision easier. And if you haven't watched our previous videos on TMS and ketamine, make sure to click the I button to check them out. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sayed M. Quadri, a board-certified psychiatrist, and I've been working in the field of mental health care for the past 20 years. Today, we're going to discuss the differences between two important and advanced treatments, transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS, and ketamine. Both treatments are helpful for those who haven't responded well to traditional medications. However, the way these treatments work and their results are different. The information I'll share in this video is based on my clinical experience and research. Let's start with a brief overview of TMS and ketamine. TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation, is a non-invasive treatment that sends magnetic pulses to specific areas of the brain to stimulate underactive regions. It helps reduce symptoms of depression, especially for those who have not responded well to medications. Ketamine is also a treatment for depression but it is administered as a medication. It works by increasing the levels of the neurotransmitter glutamate, which helps form new neural connections in the brain. It reduces depression symptoms rapidly, often showing effects after just the first dose. Let's now explore how both of these treatments work. TMS targets the brain's prefrontal cortex, which plays a key role in mood regulation. It activates the areas that have become underactive due to depression by sending magnetic pulses. TMS is considered non-invasive as it does not require surgery or anesthesia and it is painless. Each session lasts about 20 to 40 minutes, with a full treatment course typically lasting 4 to 6 weeks. Ketamine, on the other hand, is a medication that works on NMDA receptors, targeting the brain's glutamate neurotransmitter system. Glutamate enhances synaptic plasticity and brain function, leading to the formation of new neural connections and improving thought and behavior patterns. Ketamine is often administered via IV infusion or as a nasal spray, esketamine, and its effects are felt very quickly, sometimes after the first dose. Both TMS and ketamine are effective in treating depression, but their methods and speed of action are different. While TMS gradually stimulates specific areas of the brain to bring about improvement, ketamine works rapidly, offering immediate relief to many patients. Now let's take a closer look at the effectiveness and results of both treatments so you can understand the kind of improvements each treatment offers. The effects of TMS tend to appear gradually. Patients typically start noticing improvements by the end of the treatment course, which lasts four to six weeks. Studies indicate that about 37.5% of patients experience a positive response from TMS, with 27% achieving full remission. This makes TMS particularly beneficial for individuals who haven't responded well to traditional medications. Ketamine, on the other hand, works much more quickly. Research shows that around 50 to 70% of patients report improvements after ketamine infusions, with effects sometimes becoming noticeable within 24 to 48 hours. Ketamine is also used for patients struggling with suicidal thoughts as it provides rapid relief. Repeated ketamine treatments can lead to long-term improvements, especially when administered in a controlled setting. However, along with their effectiveness, it's essential to consider the side effects and safety of these treatments. Now let's take a closer look at the side effects and safety aspects of both treatments in a simplified manner. TMS is considered a very safe treatment with minimal side effects. Common side effects include scalp, discomfort, and mild headaches, which are generally mild and resolve quickly. There is no need for sedation or anesthesia with TMS, allowing patients to resume their normal activities immediately after treatment. On the other hand, ketamine may come with some more serious side effects. Common side effects include confusion, dizziness, and dissociation, where patients may feel disconnected from their bodies. Ketamine should always be administered in a controlled medical setting to manage any potential complications. However, the fast-acting nature of ketamine makes it particularly appealing for those who haven't responded to traditional medications. After understanding the side effects and safety measures, it's important to explore the long-term effects and potential of these treatments. 
While TMS offers sustained benefits with maintenance sessions, ketamine often requires repeated sessions for rapid improvement. Now let's take a closer look at the long-term benefits and future potential of both treatments. The effects of TMS can last for a long time, with many patients experiencing improvements for months after completing the treatment course. It can become even more effective with ongoing maintenance sessions. TMS has also shown promise in treating other mental health conditions, such as PTSD, OCD, and anxiety disorders. Ketamine, due to its fast-acting nature, requires repeated sessions for long-term maintenance. However, its ability to quickly alleviate symptoms and reduce suicidal thoughts makes it a breakthrough option. In the future, ketamine's use may expand to treat other mental health conditions, such as PTSD and OCD as well. Both TMS and ketamine are advanced treatments that can be beneficial for those who haven't found relief with traditional antidepressants. TMS is a non-invasive and painless option that works gradually, but offers long-lasting relief, especially when paired with maintenance sessions. On the other hand, ketamine acts much more quickly, making it particularly effective for suicidal patients. However, it does come with more side effects and should always be administered in a controlled medical setting. Both treatments hold a promising future in mental health care, and the right choice depends on your specific symptoms and medical history to determine which treatment would be more suitable for you. We have created two separate videos on TMS and ketamine, providing a detailed and in-depth overview of both treatments. You can watch these videos by clicking the I button above or by using the link provided in the description. These videos will help you understand both treatments thoroughly, enabling you to make the right decision based on your needs. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and share it so others can also understand the differences between TMS and ketamine. You'll find references and study links in the description box below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.